Daniel Day-Lewis first made his mark in film as a teenage vandal, scratching cars in John Schlesinger's 1971 film, Sunday Bloody Sunday. Good morning. Get off the pavement. Ten years later, he portrayed another young thug confronting Ben Kingsley's Gandhi in a short cameo role in a film which collected no less than eight Oscars, a sign, perhaps, of things to come. By the time he'd appeared in Stephen Freer's 1985 drama, My Beautiful Laundrette, he was already beginning to influence a generation of young actors. When I was watching My Beautiful Laundrette and In the Name of the Father, My Left Foot, I'm like, ah, oh, acting's just gone to another whole level. In My Left Foot, Day-Lewis was cast as the Irishman Christy Brown, who defied cerebral palsy to become an acclaimed artist and author. The actor famously chose to stay in character and in a wheelchair throughout filming to give an astonishing performance which won him his first Oscar in 1990. Oh. For me that was a moment of kind of a clarity that he wasn't doing it like to, to be an actor, he was doing it to honour Christy Brown, you know what I mean, like to kind of go as far as he could to get into the soul of the character, and that's what he like. he's like, he'll go all the way. Four years later, Sheridan directed Day-Lewis to another Oscar nomination as a man coerced into confessing to be an IRA bomber with the film In the Name of the Father. I don't hate you. Technically, I think he's probably the most gifted actor that ever lived. The plaudits and recognition kept on coming. There was another nomination for his performance in Martin Scorsese's Gangs of New York in 2003. And in this scene, his character, Bill the Butcher, directs his fury at another character Day Lewis would come to play to similar acclaim a decade later Abraham Lincoln. But before that, there was to be another Academy Award in 2007 for a performance playing the ruthless oilman Daniel Plainview in Paul Thomas Anderson's movie, There Will Be Blood. Ladies and gentlemen, if I say I'm an oil man, you will agree. He's completely committed to the art form, and I think that's uh, so apparent in his work. He's also just been touched. He's got a gift. And I fall in love with you every time. When there's a camera between us, Actress Nicole Kidman had the chance to observe the Day-Lewis technique during the making of the musical Nine. He's the perfect thing to study as an actor, is to study the way Daniel works. The way he worked for Lincoln was to spend a year in preparation, but his director was happy to wait for a compelling performance. It is a self-evident truth that things which are equal to the same thing are equal to each other. He's not like a fisherman. He doesn't go fishing for a character. It either jumps into his net or it doesn't. And thank goodness Lincoln jumped into his net. And from fellow nominee Hugh Jackman, there was almost a humble acceptance that Day-Lewis would rewrite history on Oscar night. I, I, I met him at one of the award ceremonies and I, I was a little starstruck. For me, like Brando did in the 50s, then De Niro, he not only is he the best actor, he changed film acting. In 1957, the actor's father, poet Cecil Day-Lewis, marked the arrival of young Daniel by writing The Newborn, with the prophetic lines, This morsel of man I've held, what potency it has. Fifty-five years later, such potency has become potential fulfilled. Neil Curry, CNN.